changes. Well, hello, everypony, and welcome to the Pony Talk Podcast. As always, I am your host, Dashie101, and today, guys, we have episode 24 to review. Wow. So, this is our last final episode before the season finale, so I'm just going to get that out of the way first, guys, and oh my gosh, I just can't believe it. And for some reason, I was having a problem starting up this podcast. I don't know why. That's very uncommon. And while we're speaking of uncommon, uh, today's episode is titled Uncommon Bound. Or Uncommon Bond, I should say. Bound, where did that come from? I don't know. Very uncommon. But, anyway. So, let's jump right on to the review, guys. And, yeah. After this, let the season finale take it away. So, as all of you are aware, episode 24 starts off at Ponyville train station, where we see lovely Starlight Glimmer um, basically trotting around just kind of like in her um, worried mood, I guess you could say. Kind of resemblance to Twilight a little bit, but Starlight has that different... uh, tendency of worrying than uh, Twilight, as we all know. Um, but she is worrying about, well, uh, Sunburst. She, I guess, is supposed to have Sunburst over uh, at the castle and um, not showing up. So she started to become worried and she asked uh, one of the people at the train station, you know, what, uh, what time does the noon train get here? And she replies at noon. And she's like, oh, okay, thank you. So basically, I was not a lot of help for Twilight at all. Or did I say Twilight? Oh my gosh. Starlight. I keep mixing those two together, guys. So, calm down, settle this. Um, yeah, it's, they just have that similarities to them. A lot of similarities. Uh, anyway. Finally, um, a train gets here, but the train is completely barren. No ponies are in it, so uh, she kind of worries a little more. The door is closed to, uh, I guess, uh, the Crystal Empire is the next stop. And while the train pulls away, there's a lot of smoke from it, or a lot of just... uh, Basically, you can't see anything around her surroundings. And then this uh, interesting shadow appears, which... It's Sunburst, and so it is very, very excited to see Sunburst, gives uh, him a hug, and says, I've been waiting for you all day, and he's like, yeah, well, I had to uh, pack stuff, and we see like a couple of suitcases, kind of referable to uh, Rarity's packing, if I should say, and um, then Starlight actually looks and says, well, uh, you ready to head to the castle? Because that's where we'll be staying. He's like, oh, yes, uh, but I think we're going to be making more than one trip. And it shows even more baggage that uh, Sunburst has. So definitely uh, same similarity as Rarity's packing. Um, but Rarity, I think, has get it, been getting a little bit better uh, with her traveling. Packs and all that good stuff. Um. Anyway... Uh, Sunburst starts to mention something about, uh, the antiques and stuff. We should go antiquing, uh, looking at different antiques and stuff. Would you like to come, Starlight? And so it's like, yeah, let's do it. It should be fun. Um, so, they go into the antique shop in Ponyville. And, uh, I guess according to just how, uh, Starlight was feeling and stuff, saying, basically looking like, they've been in there all day, which, in fact, they have. Um, Sunburst is still looking at a bunch of different antiques and all that, and Starlight really isn't showing any enthusiasm. I mean, she is when he kind of, like, comes over and says, oh, look at, look at this amazing piece that I found. This is an old, ancient, uh, map of Equestria made out of stone, 
And, uh, so it's like, oh, that is cool. Yay. Uh, so, yeah, so it's trying to waste time and stuff. Trying, like, alright, let's, uh, get out of here so we can actually go to the castle and just, uh, plan stuff, you know? You're here for a little bit. So, yeah. And that's when they run into Twilight, who is also in the antique shop. And Sunburst is pretty, uh, interested and just kind of like, wow. Starlight, you actually come here, or it's Twilight? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna do it through this whole entire podcast. It's just, it's just gonna happen. <laughs> anyway, um, Twilight there, and some person's like, "Wow, I never would expect you to come here." And she's like, "Well, it is vacant a lot of the time, so I'm mostly their only shopper." So, and some person's like, "Really?" And she's like, "Yeah." And, uh, this is where they, uh, bond really together, which is the title of the episode, once again. Um, showing off all these different, uh, ancient magic pieces, uh, yeah, that antique map, and certain other stuff. But, um, I remember Sun first bought, I think, a barrel filled with stuff, uh... But he doesn't go into that until we actually arrive at the castle. But uh, after they're done getting out of that shop and Starlight makes the comment, this place looks a lot smaller than it did from the inside. This uh, inside is huge. So I guess it's bigger on the inside. Uh, anyway, they re go to the Castle of Friendship where uh, they just... Well, that's where he's going to be staying, so might as well make him uh, at home there. And this is where Silas like, ooh, we're going to have so much fun stun sunburst. Bro, I got a whole, whole day planned out for us. It's going to be amazing. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, you will too. Well, a couple of days or three days, I think. I'm not sure how long he was there for. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Anyway, um... This is where, um, I think, uh, Sunburst says, wow, you know, the Princess of Friendship, I mean, I, mean, I knew I was going to get along with her, but not this well, this, like, we really have a lot in common, Starlight, this is absolutely amazing, and uh, you should have told me a little more about her, so I would actually know, and we probably would have more of an interest in, uh, each other, and, uh, so it's like, yeah, Twilight is pretty cool, but, you know, I, I got a couple of other stuff that I think would, uh, be a little bit, uh, better, I guess you could say, and, um, she tries to kind of convene him to come over and say, hey, let's, uh, let's play a couple of games, or let's do this, um, but this is where he pulls out that barrel, and, uh, so it's like, what is in that barrel that you guys bought? And uh, he was like, well, not just it's not just a barrel, Starlight. It's got stuff contained in it. And she's like, oh, really? Uh, what stuff? And he's like, that's the thing. We don't know what's in it. And she's like, wait, you're telling me you bought a barrel, but it, you don't have any idea what's inside of it whatsoever. Okay. And uh, this is where Twilight comes in and says... That's the fun about buying these. It's like, kind of like a mystery. It's like treasure hunt. Um, you never know what you're going to get. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. So, this is where um, Starlight, I think, cracks out Dragon Pit, which uh, used to be hers and uh, Sunburst's uh, favorite game when they were fillies, young fillies. And um, this is where Starlight's like, would you be interested? And he's like... Wow, I haven't played this game in a while, and, uh, Dragon Pit, yeah, that was a really interesting game, and this is where Twilight comes in and says, I remember that when I was little, that, this was a really fun game, let's, let's play, uh, she's like, I've heard of it, and, uh, yeah, let's, let's play it, so, they play a little bit of it, well, I don't think they actually play it, I think Twilight gives it our Starlight, gives instructions to what uh, happens in the game and uh, she says it's supposed to be very very interesting her and Sunburst uh, 
loved playing this game when they were little, so, uh, Twilight, you, you'll absolutely love it. And I know I said that, um, Starlight, or, uh, yeah, Starlight, she, uh, knew, like, what a, the game was about, um, but Twilight, on the other hand, that's what I was meaning to say, um, it's just gonna go on all day today, I can just tell you, um, this is where Twilight doesn't know really anything about the game, but she has heard of what Dragon Ball is. Um, but they just don't really seem too interested into it, as Sunburst and Starlight at the time found a lot of interest into it. Um, but this is where I think Sunburst takes a break for the rest of the night, um, it goes to bed, and is woken up by, uh, well, Starlight, saying, hey, I got more ideas that we can do. And, uh, this is where, um, Sunburst is like, oh, that's awesome, but, uh, can you let me get changed first before we start making plans and all this? And, uh, Starlight's like, yeah, absolutely. So this is where they go outside and, um, head to, I'm not really sure, um, Oh, they just, they just go, uh, to Sweet Apple Acres, that's right. They go to Sweet Apple Acres just to take a walk, because Starlight wants to show him something. And, uh, when they arrive there, and, uh, she takes one of the apples from Sweet Apple Acres, uh, to show him a trick or something, uh, that's where we hear, um, or see Trixie there. And, uh, Starlight's like, oh, hey, Trixie, I never knew you were going to be here. And she's like, well... I use a lot of these apples for my magic tricks and stuff. Who is this fellow you got here? And she, uh, Starlight introduced uh, Sunburst to uh, Trixie. And um, this is where Sunburst gets a little bit of interest into Trixie and says, Hey, you like magic? And she's like, yeah, I'm all about it. And she's like, do you want to see magic tricks? And he's like, absolutely. And this is where Starlight is starting to feel left out once again. And, um, so Trixie puts on a little bit of a talent show, uh, for both Starlight and Sunburst, and this is where they, um, she tries to do, um, a new escape trick, uh, basically chaining her up, um, and she has to try getting it out with the key, without the key, so we've, we've seen this in a bunch of magic uh, shows and all that, if you guys ever have gone to magic shows. Um, but, while she is doing this, it does not go out as planned. She puts a curtain over so they can't see what she's trying to do. Um, but it ends up being worse, and she's like, um, can some pony help? I think I need a little assistance. And this is where both of them run up to the stage. Um, and see, she is tangled in all this mess, and, um, Starlight casts a spell to get Trixie out of that, uh, crazy mess of a chain, and, um, I think this is where Sunburst is like, well, that's a very interesting chick, and also, a uh, well-known one, but let me show you other ones that you actually might like, uh, like to do that will actually really get your, uh, audience's attention. And, um, so... Throughout this whole day that Starlight and Sunburst were supposed to hang out, it mainly fell with just Trixie and Sunburst, just learning and showing each other different magic tricks that they know. Um, well, mostly it's Sunburst doing uh, most of it, but uh, Trixie is very pleased and it says, Starlight, you never told me Sunburst was this amazing. And, uh, she was like, yeah, that's why, um, me and him have been good friends for, like, a long time. Until that whole incident when, uh, she was alone in that, uh, equality village. Uh, so, yeah. Not going back to that, but, you know. Well, Starlight's dark times, I guess you could say. So, um, while... Sunburst actually finally leaves Trixie and says, well, Starlight's been wanting to do stuff with uh, me when we were going to hang out or something. Uh, we'll catch up with you later, Trixie. And she's like, okay, you guys take care. And um, this is where Starlight takes Sunburst 
to uh, the mirror pool, which if you remember, too many Pinkie Pies, uh, Pinkie Pie used this mirror portal to um, basically clone herself into a bunch of different Pinkies because she felt like she didn't have enough. She wanted to be in different places at once. And we saw where that uh, all went and voice crack. So, yeah. But she takes uh, him to this mirror pool and she explains the whole story, what Pinkie Pie did. And uh, Summers is very interested and says, wow, she actually did that? And he's like, yeah, you can go ask her. But while they're over here looking at this uh, pool, they hear basically noise coming from inside of the cave where the pool is and they try to go figure it out and when they do they see it's mud mining uh different portions of stone rock um as we all know and love mod as uh she's very interested into her minerals and all that um she is continuing her geological studies um, and Sunburst is very interested once again into what she's doing. And, uh, Starlight does go off saying, well, she's not really much of a talker. And, I mean, you can go see, and she's like, oh, I love this. I love, uh, learning about different studies and all that. Um, so, once again, Starlight is left out. And, um, Sunburst and Maud are kind of now establishing a bond with each other. Now... Starlight just kind of had enough, and she leaves to go to the castle. Um, soon after, um, Starlight is by herself in the castle library, and um, they uh, she kind of convinced Twilight and says, "Hey, you know, I it's just been weird, you know." Um, like, we really haven't done anything and stuff, and I kind of feel upset about this. I mean, Sunburst is now connecting with my friends. She started uh, connecting with um, you, uh, Trixie, and now um, she, uh, she, oh my god, he's over with Maud right now looking at minerals uh, and doing different studies and all that. And this is where uh, Twilight says everyone changes over time. They all, all still have a common difference and stuff. Nothing is trying to keep you away from him and you. Uh, he just wants to try out new things and stuff and wants to learn a little more about Ponyville, you know? Give him a chance. Um, so finally, uh, Sunburst... Uh, um... Oh god. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm trying to think. I, I watched this uh, episode and there was a lot to talk about and just a lot to see. Um, but this is where Sunburst noticed Twi uh, Twilight Starlight is gone. Um, never can get those names together. I don't know why. Uh, but trots into the castle throne room and sees Starlight sitting there, and he goes, Starlight, I've been looking all over for you. Me and Maud were looking up rocks, and I tried looking for you, but you weren't there. So I came over here to see wh what you were doing. And she's like, I actually found out a new spell that I, uh, will be pretty interesting. And he's like, oh, really? And she's like, yeah, take a look at it. Shows him this scroll, and, um looks at him and he's like, wow, Starlight, you did this by yourself? And she's like, yeah, let me show you. And as she casts a spell, first it uh, takes a, um, transforms the castle throne room into, um, looks like a house, I think the same house as uh, Starlight and um, Sunburst used to be in and grow up in. Uh, and then she casts another spell which turns them back into fillies, and Sunburst is like, whoa, uh, Starlight? And she's like, isn't this great? And she's in her, like, little filly voice, so it's, like, all amazing. And she's like, I got something amazing, too. And she pulls out, once again, Dragon Pit. And Sunburst is like, uh, what's going on here, Starlight? And she's like, 
you know, I really miss those days when we were Phillies and stuff, and we haven't played this game since. So, let's try making the best of that again, you know? Let's make it like good old times. And, uh, Sunburst finally kind of puts his hoof down and says, No, I don't want to do this, Starlight. I don't want to recap the past. And this is where Starlight really takes offense to that and starts to cry a little bit. And she gets rid of all the spells and stuff and transforms the castle back to what it originally was. And uh, they become full grown ponies again. Uh, so, while this happens, Twilight uh, shows up once again and is seeing Starlight in tears. And Twilight's like, what's, what's going on? And so it's like, I, I just, I, I, we don't have anything in common anymore. And this is where she trots off upset. Um, and Twilight and Sunburst look at each other just in very confusement. And, um, to the end, this is where, um, I think Sunburst kind of, like, comes and comforts Starlight and says, Hey, you know, we did have a lot of fun when we were Phillies and stuff, you know? Uh, but the, it's not over yet, and I think this is where Twilight comes in and says, Even though you guys might not have all the same similarities and stuff like that, you still have that in you. Rather, you think you do or you don't. You know, it's it's still all there. It might not be shown the same exact way as it was before, but that doesn't mean you guys can... Uh, that doesn't mean that it has to stop all there. You guys can expand your likability, you know? Uh, if you guys are interested in spells and doing all that, go do that, you know? Um, if... Uh, Maud wants to do her rocks and stuff like that, and you guys get interested in that. Find something else, too, you know? Expand your uh, imagination and creativity. Um, but this is where um, I think they talk to her, and Sunburst says, you know, I kind of do feel a little bit bad, so here I got something really awesome. We haven't really done anything with each other so we're going to do this uh, so he opens up a door in the castle and sees it's Maud, um, Trixie, Sunburst and Twilight in uh, different costumes and the whole room is a giant game of Dragon Pit now this is like huge scale so normal to the normal board games and stuff is we know what a normal board game looks. They totally take that to a certain extent, and it's just huge, huge scale. A little huge volcano. Um, you know, for the game pieces, they're the game pieces. They actually can act like the characters and stuff. And uh, Sunburst is like, you know, you really like this game and stuff, and I wouldn't mind playing it. But let's let's try making this a little more interesting. And, uh, she's like, well, I didn't think you wanted to play this and stuff. You know, I don't want to make you upset or anything. And she, he's like, well, you know what? I've been doing everything that I've been wanting to do, but I haven't left any time for something for you. And I think that's why you felt left out. So, let's play this game. And he's like, what, what do you think about it? And so it's like, I think it's missing something. And so she casts a spell, which makes a hole in the floor of the castle, uh, where Sunburst is standing, and, um, falls through the floor, and this is where Twilight, or Twilight, Starlight, Trixie, and Maud stick their head out, and this is where Starlight says, there, I think it's perfect now, and they have a good laugh of it, and, yeah, that's an episode. Whew. All right, wow, guys, and I think that like hurt my brain a little bit at the end there. Um, wow. Let me tell you guys, this episode it probably wasn't my favorite, but you know what? Again, it's it sends out another amazing message. Um, now a lot of us as 
probably in our teen years, our adult years, uh, probably refer a lot to our childhood memories and all that. Um, but you know what? You see your friends in the future change, and you might like it, you might not like it. But um, this shows you, you know, that it's awesome to still have those memories and stuff, and if you want to recap them, that's fine. But you don't have to keep on basing your whole life around that. You can find new discoveries and all that. Don't be afraid to, you know, go out, look for something new, and uh, give a person a chance. If you don't feel like they're really connecting and stuff, um, to just, you know, see how this turns out. Maybe uh, give them a little bit and, you know kind of just let them do their own thing and if you aren't liking what they're doing or something don't be afraid to go and tell them hey let's do this instead you know I've seen what you did so let's let's kind of redo that and like actually do something that both of us like to do um, so it's just it's just a really good episode in my opinion I mean it's not my favorite episode at all um, but it's definitely good to see Sunburst once again. I know we've seen him at the, the beginning of Season 7, which I believe uh, was the beginning of Season 7. Um, yeah, uh, bottled up or something like that. I'm not really sure. I think it was. But um, I think we did see Sunburst in the premiere of Season 7. I'm... I don't know, for some reason I'm thinking of, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. let's see here, I, I need to make sure I get this right, guys. Alright guys, sorry, I had to look up something, um, but I know, I can't think of it on the top of my head right now, but I know it wasn't this season, I know I said it was this, uh, season premiere, but, um, no, it was when, uh, we discovered Flurry Heart. And this is where, um, Sunburst, we actually see him. I think that was the last recent episode we saw of Sunburst, um, until we saw, um, Uncommon Bond. So, uh, yeah, it's good to see, uh, him again and Starlight. It's good to have another Starlight, um, episode to basically kind of end off the series right there. Um, until, uh, Season 8, of course. But, I... I say this episode was really good, it was inspiring, and, uh, yeah. But I want to hear from you guys. What did you think about Uncommon Bond? Did you like it? Do you think, uh, they could have added a little more to it? Or do you think it was just right? Um, which I did actually forget one other thing. Um, they did, uh, send off, um, Sunburst on the train. They said goodbye to him. And this is where uh, Starlight says, tell me what's in that barrel. And he says uh, that he will. And we see that very interesting book that he pulls out, um, which I guess is a little hint hint for the season seven finale, guys. Um, yeah, so that is going to be our last, last Pony Talk podcast um, for season seven, guys, it's the finale, so it's going to be huge. So if you guys out there want to join the season finale final um, podcast before the hiatus, um, just let me know down in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to check up on it, sign up. Where this is going to be a huge event. Um, and then there will be another Pony Talk um, thing, but it will be related to the movie because um, I told you guys we would do a movie one, uh, but we need to get through Season 7, and then Pony Talk will be on a hiatus for a little bit, unless we get some news article or anything, uh, something huge in the fan base. Uh, but until then, guys, thank you all so much for watching this Pony Talk podcast, and, well, please like, share, favorite, and don't forget to subscribe, guys, until... The season finale of season 7. Be sure to look out for that, guys. So, as always, we'll see you next Pony Talk Podcast, guys. Peace out. Bye!